Hello, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Planescape Torment. So, I can't think of any other place we can go. I don't, I forgot to watch the video to see where she originally wanted to take us. So the only place I could think of is to go through the painted door. And maybe that'll take us this way. I mean, it's, that, that just makes too much sense to me. So, we're going to do that. But I really, I mean, I, I completely expect this decanter of endless water once we manage to get that unlocked uh, to its full potential. We could douse uh, Angar because right here, PCs, or not Angar, Ignis. We could get him as a companion because we have everyone else so far. And I was confused about Anna because it made it seem like she was a player character, or a playable character, rather. And we couldn't get her. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then it's just a matter of time, obviously, before you can get them. And I could be completely wrong about the decanter of water, but that makes sense, doesn't it? Just continually pour water on it until the water overwhelms the flames makes sense all right anyway let's get in here uh we already read all this close your eyes and open the door uh, you close your eyes and reach for the door and fumble around to your surprise you find a handle with a slight tug the door opens a narrow passage leads into the building and from within you can hear distant howling all right time to head on in Oh, Feyrod. Are those shadows? Oh, oh, yo, later, Feyrod. Okay. Oh God, please tell me that noise isn't going to be around the entire time we're here. Okay. Common sense tells me to leave everyone in here alone. But from a gameplay standpoint, obviously we need to talk to people. Okay, she didn't get upset. Tiefling Painter. You see a slender tiefling girl standing with her back to you. You notice that you notice that both her hands and the upended table in front of her are smeared with with a fresh coat of what appears to be pink paint. She seems oblivious to your approach. Greetings. At the sound of your voice, the girl turns her head to regard you. Her face, though somewhat dirty and spattered with drops of pink, is strikingly beautiful. She flashes you a, a wide, mischievous smile, then returns her attention to the makeshift canvas. I had some questions. The tiefling girl seems totally immersed in her artwork. She ignores you entirely. Okay. All right. Anna. Oh, oh, special abilities. Detect traps. Stealth mode. Hang on. Let's look at Anna. Because she's a fighter thief. Her dexterity's great. If she's a fighter thief... I think focusing dex and strength are going to be what I want to do for increasing stats. Because the more strength, obviously, uh, the more, yeah. Right there, your ability score, raw strength, blah, 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 allows you to carry more weight and make your melee attacks more accurate and damaging. Definitely want that. Okay, all right, excellent. So she has two AC, that needs to be increased. She's chaotic neutral. So open locks is at 50%. Stealth at 60. Find and remove traps 40. Pickpockets at 50%. That's not bad. But here's what I'm worried about with a thief. There seems to be a lot of very similar uh, gameplay from this to Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Pickpocketing I really like. However, 
I'm worried it's going to work like Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. If I pickpocket and fail, are we capable of trying to bribe our way out, talk our way out, or are we going to have to save scum? And is there a way to get pickpocketing to 100%? These are very real questions. She is proficient in fist weapons, and that's what we've got for her. That's great. Although she's a, she's also a fighter, can she use any of these other weapons that the Khan has? No, she cannot. She cannot. Anyway, give that back to him. He's got more strength. We really need to get her some tattoos. Alright, so... Right. I know I said I didn't want to save Scum, but I... If this works the same way that it does in Baldur's Gate, with pickpocketing, I, I might save Scum for pickpocketing because... If you fail in Baldur's Gate on a pickpocket, there's no going back. They will aggro. In like this case, I'm assuming the entire facility will aggro. It just seems bad. So, save scum time. We're testing this out. Might as well. Got it. Oh, we did get something. Got a ring. We're just gonna go till we fail. Oh, Kassad's got nothing on him. All right. Why not? Yeah, we'll just keep going with her. Okay, well, it's saying it's failed. Okay, there it is. Let's kill her. How are you people having so much trouble? Alright, so she's dead. Right. Oh, God. Is everything hostile? The rock sings true. Well, they're hot. Well, they're fighting each other. Leave them alone. We're testing right now. That was a trap. Hey, you're not hostile. You're not hostile. Oh, these guards are hostile. Okay. That's a lot of hostile guards. Alright, so we are going to load that quick save. So we're going to be very careful with our pickpocketing. Five percent. How long does this last? Stealthier, blah blah blah, gives chance of uh, pickpockets, people viewing the charm. Viewing the charmed individual will detect something unsavory about him. However, reducing first impressions accordingly. Reducing first impressions accordingly. This unsavoriness will last only as long as the charm is in effect, however. But how long? And does this stack? Let's see. Again, testing. I'm, I'm, Hi, right. I'm sorry, I should have done this off camera, but... Alright, so... Fifty-five. Sixty, they stack. And we we threw away a ton of those. Let's Okay, hang on. Let's load. I'm gone. And I'm just gonna assume all those guards Oh wait, no no no. We testing. 
Sorry. I'm gone. So we pickpocketed nothing. Are these... <sighs> this guy's hostile. Wait, wait, he, yeah, he's coming after us. We've pickpocketed nothing at this point, and they're hostile. Why not? Okay, um... I'm gone. Have you got the kid? I need to see if I could buy more of those rat charms. Go back to the worst marketplace in any game ever. Okay, you were weapons, correct? Ooh, I wonder if we could exploit the game by stealing something and then selling it back. Oh, I don't want to do that, though. I don't want to exploit on my first playthrough. Oh, we already went through all this. Oh, we're getting new dialogue. So she stops us from uh, from leaving trying to convince us more now we that we have Anna we got new dialogue okay because we I we've read all this before right so she tries to stop us when we leave Anna I he sure didn't you hear the man Anna rolls her eyes for the love of the powers why don't you just pry yourself off the sod for a bit you're embarrassing yourself you are uh, let Anna continue to talk merchant turns up her cute button nose Huh. Are you jealous that you'd rob a poor merchant of her sale? Are you so jealous that you'd rob a poor merchant of her sale? The good sir is a customer. Oh, plain touched. Oh, plain touched. Not some piece of meat to be owned or fought over. With that, she nods at you. <laughs> Wait for it. Anna looks horrified and furious. Jealous? Bar that. Watch your tongue, woman, or I'll split it from your bone box and bury it in your cor and bury it in your corpse in an opposite end of sigil, or in an opposite end of sigil. I will. The merchant, clearly frightened, steps back away. And yeah, she turns, she turns to you, eyes flashing with rage, and makes a, dis a disgusting sneer. Not a word. Don't go get any ideas from this addled cove, addled cove chits blathering. Or you'll be good and sorry. And be quiet. Ha! Not likely. I'll speak when I want. I'll speak when I want, I will, and don't you ever forget it. And don't think I'll be forgetting this either. You messed up. <laughs> you messed up, Leatherhead. Whatever, Anna. Anyway, about my questions. Uh... Yep. Yeah, okay. So it, j it wasn't anything right. in particular, just just more, just some RP with Anna. Uh, I guess I had some questions. No. Try these spices, sir. Where were the? Oh, you can just taste them all over here. Didn't someone here sell those rat tails? Wrong one. What do you have? No, that okay. Purchase something. Ah, damn it. Nothing. Uh, 
And okay, this would be a good spot to Jelly test. Hydra eyeballs in aspic. Give it a try. It's delicious. Uh. Anyway. Right. She got in there and it's complete garbage. You locked up total garbage. Come on in, Basher. We have the best blades in town. All right. Uh All right, anyway. It seems like everything was hostile. Just look natural. Uh, casual. Let's go into the smoldering bar corpse real quick to see if there's anything we could buy in there. I'm gone. Oh, I I really do regret. I mean, we had like 20 of those rat those those charms to increase pickpocketing. But I'm guessing we can get to 100%. And if I find that bitch that led me to that ambush, she will die. I'm a I you know, I don't know if I was a mage at that point or a wizard at that point. Oh Anyway, let's get down here. Yeah, we're gonna meta game a little bit, so because well. we know that guard's down there. Let's see if we can backstab this Anna. Oh, you have to turn it on. Okay, duh. My shadows fail. Oh, Anna. Stop failing, please. Excellent hit. Why not? that I'm gone I want to try to snipe this kill looks like the centaur is losing yep near death. Let's snipe it. Do we get it? He got it. You, you're you gonna pay. I mean, am I, am I really gonna have to fight my way through here? Hi. Alright, so thieving stuff is gonna require more testing. I might do that off, uh, off camera because I can't imagine that's that's too exciting to watch. Not like, not like any. This is like overly exciting, but I'm gone. All right, Anna. Right. Detect some traps for I'm me. I'm gone. Bandages and rags goes to more. I'm I'm determined. I am absolutely determined to find some use for these mm -hmm. damn rags. Right. All right.
I'm gone. All right, and we are gonna do another quick save here to test to see if. No, no, no. Wait, we already tested. Failing a pickpocket will 100% make them hostile. So you right. just here go out here and detect some traps. Tire Syed. Ty Tiresias, Tiresias, Tire Cyrus. Good lord. You see an aging man dressed in tattered rags. As you draw nearer, you discover that he is missing both of his eyes. The scarred tissue on his eyelids has receded into his empty sockets, giving his features a macabre appearance of a decaying skull. Giving the feature his features giving his features the macabre appearance of a decaying skull. Greetings. The man turns in your general direction, his arms outstretched as if feeling for you. Darkness who be in voice. The friend words I'll speak of you and call chaos. What? Speak the words of chaos and you'll call me friend? Is this jumbled up scramble speak really necessary? Okay. Okay. I, I was like... That buffered my brain for a second. But... Scramble speak. Got it. The old man cocks his head to one side, his sightless gaze fixed on empty space. Chaos of you are not. Not pot. It's not. <sighs> Has everyone lost their minds? Walk not. Talk not. Talk is complete. Completed to completion. He turns his back to you, apparently done with the conversation. I don't like this option. I don't want to threaten the guy. I mean, one, would he even understand it? And two, it just... We're, we're not that kind of character. The guy hasn't, like, threatened us. This is not a situation. We're just speaking to a madman. I, I don't think there's any need for threats. Uh, yeah, let's, let's leave. Done. Might as well. Alright, I'm sorry for the safe scum here, but... Why not? Not this time. Uh, nope, load it. Huh? Right, not this time. Oh, damn, woman. Huh? Might as well. Got it. Right. Oh, we did get something. A ring. Okay, whatever. Succeed. Right. So, two times... I'm gonna see about trying to get 100% on pickpocketing with her. But pickpocketing is just... It's crystal clear. It's the same thing. Or very, very similar. Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. It's way too punishing if you fail. And I'm assuming that there are a ton of NPCs with some good and or hidden stuff that you can get with pickpocketing. And I would like to discover those. So... You're just going to have to forgive me if... Two safe scums will happen if I fail a pickpocket or fail to learn a spell. If the pickpocketing was set up in a way to where I could bribe my way out of it if I get caught, or if I could attempt to talk my way out of it, I wouldn't save scum. And if I failed those, we live with the consequences at that point. If I were making game, that is how I would do it. However, um... I don't like the way they have it set up here. It's not fun. So, yeah. I apologize. I know I said no safe scumming. But uh, for pickpocketing, it's just too punishing. So we're going to do it. So anyway, moving on. Done. Sybil. She's calling us over. Uh, Anna, can you detect traps for me? I'm gone. Sybil, you see a figure hidden amid the shadows in the corner of the room. As you draw near, a young woman steps out to, re to reveal herself. She is dressed in a loose-fitting tunic, which together with her short cropped hair and slender frame gives her a rather boyish appearance. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. She nods in the direction of the door to the south, to the south wall. Uh, why? 
What's beyond that door? She winces at the sound of your voice, putting a finger to her lips to indicate silence. She pauses for a moment, then answers in a hushed voice. A whole mess of them howling lunatics. That's what. She looks like... Or, it looks like they're having some sort of gathering. Won't be able to get through... Won't be able to get through to the alley until they clear out. Howling lunatics? We know this, but... Is there an echo in here? Yes, howling lunatics. They belong to the Starved Dog Barking Gang. A band of barmy... Uh... Zaus attacked thugs? Hang on. We're doing... We gotta figure out how to pronounce that. How to pronounce... No, come on. How do you spell that? X A O. Yeah, I spelled it right. Zaus attacked. Okay, whatever. Whatever. We're gonna try it one more time. Yeah, it's not finding it. Okay. Anyway, we're going with it. Um. Uh. A barmy of Zaus tech thugs that plague this part of the hive. How many of them are in there? I counted about a dozen of them, of course. I was peeking through a crack in the door. It could I so I could be off by a handful or so. Is there another way to get through to the alley? There may be another way to get past those animals without a fight. There is another door that leads in there. From what I was able to see, there are there are stacks of wooden crates along the same wall as the other door. It may be possible to sneak from that door to the exit to the other side of the room. There's only one problem. What would that be? There's a another door that leads in there from what I'm able to gather to see. There are stacks of wooden crates along the same wall as the other door. Okay. Uh, what would the other problem be? The door's locked. I tried it. My guess is that the key is on one of the thugs upstairs. I'm not addle coved enough to go up there looking for it, though. She folds her arm across her chest and stares at you expectantly. Well, if the key is up there, I'll find it. Farewell. Updated my journal. If you do manage to live long enough to find the key, the door is in a room to the southeast. I'll be watching from the shadows. If you can unlock the door and make it out of the alley in one piece, I'll be right behind you. Okay. Did you just become... Nope. She... Did not become a... Playable character and she's not considered a beast. Okay. Well. We can't go in this room. And apparently, all the, I guess, guards or thugs or members of the Chaos Men will be hostile. Yeah, anyway, so we'll go ahead and end it here. Sorry for the thief testing skills, or testing of thief skills on camera. I don't know if that's fun to watch or whatnot, but, oh well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and we will pick it right up in the next one. Thank you.